Hey Google, what's today's subject? Hello John, today's subject is, I don't have a problem with drink anymore, but do you? Okay Google, roll the titles. Sure thing. Okay, first of all, apologies for that clickbait style title. I'm not suggesting you've got a drink problem, just maybe society as a whole may have a problem and how we view people who have a drink problem, if you follow me. So, two minutes on the clock and go. This came to mind about a week ago. I was answering a question on Quora. Someone asked, are you still an alcoholic when you stop drinking? Now, I stopped drinking in 2004 and in two months time, all being well, I'll have been sober 14 years. I stopped because I was an alcoholic Alcohol was dominating my life, and I knew the problem would only get worse. Thankfully, one day I had a moment of clarity and I realised the only way to change that was to totally stop. And two days later, I had my last drink and I began rebuilding my life. And so far, so good. But one thing I've never been able to decide on is how I describe myself. Say someone asks or I need to tell a new doctor my history, whatever. Writing that Quora answer made me think, why do I actually care? Well, if I say I'm an alcoholic, I think people will think I'm an active drinker. If I say I'm a recovering alcoholic, I worry people will still think that I'm an active drinker, but at least I'm trying to stop. A bit better. But if I say I'm a recovered alcoholic, not only does that give the suggestion that there's a cure, which there isn't, but it plants that seed of doubt in my own head, which is never a good thing for any alcoholic to think, that maybe I could have a drink. What it's made me realise is this isn't about how I feel about being sober. I feel great. This is about how other people feel. Now, I'm lucky because I have my own company, but people who are employed, I know some people who are very skilled, great jobs, and they've been sober for years, but they won't tell the boss because they're worried, their boss will worry that they'll relapse. That's just wrong. Now, we all know the problem with active alcoholics. Many people know the problem with relapsing alcoholics. I'm not pretending there isn't a problem. In fact, over the years we've employed and sadly had to get rid of some people who wouldn't accept that they had a problem, they wouldn't seek help, even when we offered to help. And given my own background, it's not easy to let someone go for that reason. But when someone's actually changed their life for the better, to not trust them, to not give them the benefit of the doubt because someone else has failed, isn't it only unfair to that person and rightly give them cause to wonder why they even bothered? But employers risk missing out on employing a great person. And personally, faced with the choice between employing an active problem drinker or a sober problem drinker, I know who I choose any day of the week. And that's just employment. There are lots of other areas, relationships, personal finance, etc. So what's the answer? Well, maybe sober alcoholic isn't a bad term, but basically if we could all just get over the stigma, maybe a lot more people could just be dry and proud. Hmm, bit over, but whatever. Okay, Google, do your funny ending. Hey John, can you try to be less grumpy, please? I'm sorry, Google. I don't know how to do that, but I'm always trying to learn.